This year for Halloween, I decided to dress up as a jukebox. Now, it's a pretty simple costume from the way that it looks on the outside. It's just a bunch of cardboard boxes with some butcher paper around it. But it's the electronics on the inside that kind of set it apart from a lot of the costumes that you see at Christmas. For starters, uh, what I have here is a Kindle Fire tablet with a musical playlist. Um, this tablet gets mounted on the inside, right on the other side of this window. Um, allowing people that I see during the day to go through the playlist and select a song that they'd like to hear the jukebox play. And then also inside the box I have an Arduino with a microphone set up to listen for the music that's playing. Um, these lights around the outside are also connected to the Arduino and so as the music's playing the lights um, move and flicker according to the music that's playing. Um, let me go ahead and select a song here to show you kind of how that works. I'll have to put the tablet on the inside because the cardboard is a pretty good insulator from the sound. Um, here we go. Scroll forward. So there's the music playing. Now this would be here with the speakers faced inside. And now as I reach the tablet inside, As the music kind of peaks and the, the volume gets higher, uh, the lights here uh, start changing green. And they, as the music gets louder and louder, more of the lights get green until they all kind of flicker green. Doesn't quite work when the tablet's outside. Not a little bit. But that's kind of how it works. I'll take a few minutes and kind of show you some of the parts that are inside, how they're connected, and see if I can find a good schematic that I can, uh, that I can post online to let everybody know how they can get their own parts together and piece together something just like this. So these are the electronics that comprise the guts of my jukebox costume. The Kindle Fire, as we already saw, uh, plays the music and provides the sound. The Arduino listens to the music via the microphone at the top of the breadboard here. Uh, the microphone sends the audio signal to an amplifier, which amplifies the sound and sends it to analog pin zero, I believe, um, so that the Arduino can read it and interpret the music. The Arduino uh, listens to the volume of the music, determines what lights should be lit up and which color, and then sends those out to the lights to be lit up. The lights plug into the Arduino, or, or the breadboard rather. Um, the, on this particular strand, there is a red wire that accepts five volts of power. There is a blue wire for the ground, a white wire, which is the data line, and a green wire, which is the clock. On this particular uh, code configuration, the white wire gets plugged into digital pin 2 and the green wire to digital pin 3. So the strand of lights wants 5 volts of power, the Arduino wants somewhere between 7 to 9. So I put together a battery pack here which um, puts out just about 9 volts of power with 6 AA batteries. This plugs into the Arduino with the barrel jack and the Arduino provides the five volts of power to the strand of lights through this red wire. Um, the five volts is enough to power this strand of lights. The current that it allows isn't quite what the lights want, so as the uh, as the lights, as you get further down the strand of lights, there's a little bit of discoloration uh, in the lights, but that's perfectly acceptable for the sort of thing that I was doing, so wasn't really a problem. Um, if it's not acceptable for your situation, I've heard and have not tested that it is possible to provide another 5 volts of power to the same wire on the other end of the strand. Um, and because of the way the lights are wired, um, there's no problem at all. Um, because, well, 
because there's not supposed to be a problem. Um, one of the problems that I did experience was what I believe was interference between the audio processing going on here and the commands being sent to the strand of lights. I had them both connected to the same uh, 5 volt power line and ground line and after the initial sound that kind of woke up the lights they would just flicker on and off incoherently. And what I believe was going on was the audio processing was putting some interference and noise into the, the power or the ground line or something that was causing the lights to uh, react to that noise and interference. Uh, so I separated them, I isolated them. The, this is being now powered off the 3.3 volt line, which is acceptable for this microphone and amp. Uh, and then the 5 volt line is being used uh, purely for powering the lights and they're both uh, going into different grounds though I believe all the grounds are connected inside the Arduino don't quote me on that um, all of this was kind of connected and just taped up there in the jukebox which I'll admit was not the safest thing in the world with these kind of exposed connections and it would have been very easy to short something or maybe create some sparks and with all that paper that I was covered in it would have been uh, kind of kind of dangerous to and possible to start a fire all around me so if this is something that you want to do I would recommend taking some precautions and and shielding these connections and not leaving so much exposed wire out everywhere um, so that I am not responsible for any harm that that uh, befalls you or others because of your exploits. But this was a lot of fun. Um, you can probably take it and to the next level with some of the ideas that you've probably got in your heads already. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll try and give you what knowledge that I have. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this.